Well, hey there, how is everyone doing? My frugal family, how's everybody? I hope you are all doing well. These are some unsettling times and I think we're all um, dealing with them the best we can. And today I just wanted to actually make an uplifting video. And what I want to do is I want to show you, I made three weeks worth of meals just from stuff that I have within my home. And I am sure this will be encouraging to you. So if this sounds interesting, please stick around. If you are new here, click that button, subscribe and become part of my frugal family. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. So let me tell you what I did. Um, everybody is like panic buying now. And I'm sure wherever you are in the country, um, this is going on. So what I did was we shop regularly. You know that I show you my hauls and stuff. And uh, we always have like toilet tissue upstairs. And when it goes on sale, we buy it. So I never want to get to the point where I'm the type of person who is taking away from someone else. In other words, like these people, and I'm not judging anyone, but coming out of the supermarket with 10 rolls of those big giant things of toilet paper in their cart. Um, I never want to be that person. So we're always buying and putting away a little bit. So we did not have to run to the store. I showed you my last haul and that was pretty maddening um, because the shelves were cleared out and everything was wild. But that was like our regular weekly shopping. I did buy a little extra. I'm not gonna lie, I bought extra flour, sugar, and I will link that haul at the end of the video. But what I wanted to do is actually sit down with myself and I went into my pantry, remember the one we cleaned together? And I literally took inventory of everything in that pantry. Oh, I hope you see this. And everything that's in my cabinet behind me. So along with this and my trusty freezer inventory and what I have in the refrigerator, I sat and I meal planned for three weeks. And I'm gonna go over it with you, show you how I did this using fresh food, using, using shelf staple food, just to encourage you that there are so many meals to be had when you actually look at what you have in your own home. So let's take a look at what I've got and then we'll I'll show you my meal plan. So I know I have three dozen eggs in the house, so I know we're gonna be good on eggs. I've got um, the two milks, I've got apples, grapes, I've got oranges, I've got a draw, I've got three pounds of carrots, three heads of romaine, I've got a big bunch of celery, so that will last a little while. I know I have beets here, and I know I have them in my pantry, I have my head of cabbage, I have sour cream, um, I know I have all the condiments I need. Look, my butter wrappers, see, I really do use them. <laughs> oh, all the condiments I need. Uh, so we are good. Oh, my cheese drop. Um, I have my Parmesan that we uh, food savored. I have a bunch of shredded cheese. I just bought this and Paul's got to put this away. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have wiped this out before I showed it to you. But we're going to cut this up. This was the big hunk I got for $5. We have some tortillas I want to use up. We use blue cheese in our salads. We got cream cheese. So we are really good. Mayo, I have mayo in the pantry. So we are looking really good. So the first thing I want to show you is my pantry inventory. That's dry goods, canned goods, etc. So as you can see, what I did was I went through everything in my pantry. And then what I did was I took the date of the earliest one that is going to expire. So I have three Belveda biscuits back there. The first one is going to uh, expire August of 20. I know the ones after that or later. So I put that one in the front so I know, you know, that's the first one. I've got to use that up. So that's what I did. If things were like pasta, I have till 21 was the earliest 
the first bag was going to expire. You know I usually do my monthly menu planning in my date book, but I went online and I found this from a homeschooling website and I will give it to you. Um, I think it's No Ordinary Moments blog, but I'm not sure because I got it on Pinterest, but I will link it down below. What is so amazing about this monthly planner was I was able to go online and type it in. It was, it was allowed me to edit it the way I wanted to. So this was phenomenal. Now what I'm going to do, so I will link this down below so you can go right to it. What I did when I planned these menus is I took my freezer inventory, my pantry and my fridge and I created, like I told you, we eat two meals a day. We eat like a brunchy meal and then we have like a dinner meal. So what I did was I looked at what I had in the house and I made three full weeks. First thing we did, I did brunches. And for brunches, we can have eggs, English muffins, because I have two packs of those in the refrigerator and in the freezer. I have bacon. I have how many packs of bacon? I have two in the freezer. I have, I'm going to be making banana muffins. We have pancakes. We can have oatmeal, fruit, tuna, peanut butter and jelly, leftovers, grilled cheese. These are just our brunchy, whether we feel like breakfast or like a light lunch that day. Now, these are the things I want to make to keep. I already just made brownies last night, so that's done. I, have, I want to make banana muffins, I want to make bread, and a honey twist. I know I have butter, I know I have, I have three pounds of butter. I have jelly, I have peanut butter. How much peanut butter do I have? I think I have a bunch of jars. Yes, I have three. We have maple syrup, sour cream, salsa, cheeses, condiments. So these are the extras. So let's start here. Now, what I did was I didn't even date anything because I can move these around. The only days I won't move around that are interchangeable are Wednesday and Friday because it's Lent for us and we don't eat meat on Wednesday and Fridays. So I can switch any of these for Wednesday and Friday. Anything on Friday I can eat on Wednesday and anything on Wednesday I can eat on Friday and everything else I can just whenever I feel like it we can have it. So the first thing um our BLTs on rolls. That's what we're going to have this afternoon. We had pancakes um, for breakfast. So we're going to have BLTs on rolls with fresh orange sections today. Then I have some leftover lasagna noodles in my pantry cabinet behind me. And we have everything to make a salad with celery, carrots, and olives. Perfect. And I have a half a container of regatta. We have corned beef, on Tuesday with cabbage, potatoes, carrots, and rye bread. I have everything for that. Stir fry Asian veggies with rice, and I'm going to take that stir fry, put it in the oven with cheese on top, and bake it. If you've never tried it, it's amazing, it's delicious, and it's super economical. So I'm just gonna say right there, I'm using up, I'm just doing it in pencil, a bag of my Asian stir fry. I have over 20 pounds of rice, so I am not worried about rice. Thursday, we're gonna do the leftover corned beef and cabbage with the vegetables and rye bread. Friday, I have three quesadillas in there. I'm gonna use those up, and we're gonna eat some more of our green salad and vegetables that are in there. Saturday, I am going to make pork chops. I am going to take off one of them right here to show you. And again, we're gonna have some rice with roasted broccoli. I have broccoli right over here. I have two and a half packages. So I would say we're gonna use that half right there. Okay, then we're going to come down here. I have a tremendous amount of Italian sausage. So what I'm going to do is make some homemade biscuits because I know I have, my gosh, 20 pounds of flour. And I'm going to make some sausage gravy with that. So I will probably use, these sausages are all in packages of two. So I will use two sausages to make the sausage gravy over homemade biscuits with some scrambled eggs. Monday, I'm going to make a creamy Parmesan chicken and rice. And I am going to take off one of my chicken cutlets right there. And I will pair that with some peas, 
which I have a half a package of peas right here, so those will be done. We come over here, we're going to have the leftover chicken and rice, and I will then cut up some celery and carrots and we'll have that with either blue cheese dressing or ranch. Wednesday, meatless again, so we're going to do pasta primavera with zucchini, broccoli, and carrots Wednesday. Then Thursday, I would use some ground beef I have. I would make a shepherd's pie with beef, creamed corn, and mashed potatoes. I know I have two packages of ground beef. I'm gonna take that off right there. I'm going to use a can of creamed corn, which is right there. I am going to use a package of already made mashed potatoes. When I Now we're going to go to Friday, which is meatless again. And I am going to try something new, a vegetarian potato and tomato. I wrote how to pronounce this, paprikash. Paprikash. It looked amazing. You use potatoes, which I do have nine pounds of potatoes. If you remember, I uh, bought them in my haul the other day. It's potatoes and you use some roasted tomatoes, which I have three jars. I'm going to add that to it. And it's like a stew of potatoes and tomatoes and vegetables. And you eat it with crusty bread. Saturday, is chicken tenders, so I'm going to be using another package of cutlets, which is right there. I'm going to make chicken tenders with honey mustard dipping sauce and garlic green beans. I have green beans right here. I have one package, so that would leave me with a half a package, because we only eat a half a package, they're a pound. And here I am going to make roasted Italian sausage, which I will cut out, cross another one out. And I'm going to make that with peppers because I have a giant bag of red peppers. I mean, I will take a little bit out, but I have a huge bag of them. So, and then I have my potatoes because I bought nine pounds. And what I do is I cut the Italian sausage up and peppers and I cube the potatoes and I roast that all together with olive oil and herbs. It comes out so good. And then we have a grilled cheese. I have a ton of bacon, I know that. So we're gonna have grilled cheese with bacon and fruit slices, apple and oranges. Now again, if I don't feel like I really want a heavy meal one of these nights, I just have this. So that's why I didn't date anything. Any of these can be interchanged, like I said. Okay, so now we've got pork chops, which right here, my last package, I'll be using that with sweet potatoes, which I have sweet potatoes that I did in the freezer, so that I cross off, and broccoli. We're going to roast some broccoli here, which is right here, and I am going to take that other half a package from there. So I still have a full package of broccoli. Then I am going to make um, some vegetable soup because I have, um, zucchini, I have peppers, I have tomatoes, I have a whole bunch of stuff in the freezer. So I'm gonna make a veggie soup, and I'm sure I still have carrots and celery left, whatever day. And I am going to make these cheddar cheese puffs. They're little breads, they're like little rolls, and you make them with cheddar cheese and eggs and flour. And I saw that on Simply. And they looked wonderful, something different. It's a vegetarian meal for Wednesday, so I was excited to try something new. Thursday, I'm going, well, whatever day, <laughs> ground beef stroganoff. So I'm gonna come up here and I am going to take my last package of ground beef off of there. And I have egg noodles. I know I have that over on my pantry. My egg noodles, so I will use a half a package of that when I cook that. And we're gonna do roasted green beans here. And that would be my last half a package I would take off of that. I'm going to make homemade pizza here because you saw how much mozzarella, I have like two bags of it in there. And I have Victoria tomato sauce. So I would use a half a jar of that probably. And I would do, um, flour, you know, make a regular my homemade crust. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought for a minute. And then over here, we're going to do macaroni and cheese. So we will do another half that would take away this whole thing of pasta. And I still have a ton left. 
and I would do a cold beet salad with one of the cans of beets I have, which I would take that off. And that is three complete weeks of menus and meals. So there you have it, three weeks of delicious, healthy, nutritious meals. What I'm trying to show you is that if you look around your house, we probably have a lot more food than we realize. You can see my pantry inventory, how much I didn't even touch it. I did use some of the meat, but I still have a ton of sausage. I still have, gotta put the glasses on, four packages of chicken breast. I have a pork picnic. I have another frozen corned beef. I have a spiral ham. So I still have a ton of meat I didn't even touch. So that's why I'm always encouraging you to make these inventories. And I'll link the pantry inventory down below too. So you can go and print this out too. This is great. So I think if you look and you mix and you match, and if you have a surplus of an item, like I have a lot of pasta, I have a lot of potatoes right now, just Google pasta recipes, Google potato recipes, and it's amazing the amount of recipes that will come up and you just scroll and gee, does this look good? And if you have cookbooks, pull out some of your cookbooks. So I hope this was encouraging to you to pull out and see what you have um, and try to mix and match between the pantry, the freezer, the fridge and make a bunch of nutritious meals. We're hunkering down right now for a little while. Things are a little different in society right now. The lines, the empty shelves, but don't be fearful. You know you're in my prayers, all of you. And I thank you so much for the blessings and encouragement you give me through your comments and through your viewing time of my videos. Um, it is so helpful right now because there is so much going on. So this is just a great way to keep in touch with each other through the social media. And I send you all a virtual hug too. That's my new thing, virtual hug, um, because you know how much I love you and appreciate you all. So. I hope this video did what it was meant to do, just encourage you to feel confident in that you probably have a lot more food in your house than you think you do. So I wish you blessings until my next video. So again, please give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing meal planning, um, getting food in your area, how the lines are, the shelves bare. I'd be curious to know. Love you all. Until my next video.